there's probably a lot you don't know about this rising star. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 need-to-know facts about Katherine Langford. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some fun facts related to Katherine Langford, the breakout star from the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. Number 5. She only had 10 days to get a visa after being cast. It's safe to assume that landing a lead role in a hot new series will bring up a host of different emotions. So when Katherine Langford was informed she'd scored the role of Hannah Baker on 13 Reasons Why, she must have been overwhelmed with excitement, nervousness, and panic? Let us explain. Langford is from Australia, a country that is definitely not America, where California is. As such, she needed to secure an O-1 visa in order to work on the series. Oh, and she only had 10 days to do it. Working quickly, Langford scored her visa, packed up her Aussie life, and jumped on a plane in the nick of time. Everyone is watching this show. It is... I mean, it's a breakout hit. Number 4. She didn't always want to be an actor. For many actors, the road to success is long and filled with a number of different twists and turns. Take Langford, for example, the daughter of two medical professionals. She originally planned to follow in her parents' footsteps, hoping to one day become a doctor. Additionally, the Aussie native was a nationally ranked swimmer, so a career in athletics was in the mix. However, in her final year of high school, Langford quit the swim team and turned her attention to performance. A few short films and a Netflix series later, and she's now one of Hollywood's hottest young stars. Job aside, if I could just be Catherine, I would not do social media because I find that like you can just live life and it's gonna be there anyway. Number three, she has a surprisingly well-rounded CV. I have definitely had maybe some very peculiar jobs. When Langford decided to become an actor, she went all in. The early years were tough and marred by constant rejection letters from a string of different acting schools. To compensate, Langford enrolled in acting classes in her hometown of Perth, and she was eventually signed by a talent agency. From there, everything began to fall into place. She's so, she's so talented. I mean, it's it's crazy that this is technically, I mean, her first real job that she has done, and you would never, ever assume that. In 2014, she was accepted into the Principal Academy of Dance and Theatre Arts. After an impressive performance in a stage production of Godspell, Langford was offered a residency at the National Institute of Dramatic Arts, which she quickly accepted. She was then offered another prestigious position at the Western Academy of Performing Arts, but turned it down to go pro. Everything that we see in the show is stuff that I've seen and that I'm aware of, you know, especially mental illness, you know, depression, anxiety, particularly when you're in the kind of later years of high school. Number two, she's a huge Lady Gaga fan. If you're planning on bringing up Lady Gaga around Katherine Langford, be prepared for her to talk your ear off. Gaga. <laughs> it all started when Langford was 16 and had the opportunity to see Lady Gaga in concert. Little did she know that this seemingly innocuous moment would be the catalyst for her acting career. Langford was blown away by Gaga's performance, and upon returning home, immediately began teaching herself to play the piano. And she did this song called Princess Die, and I just remember like being so enamored by her and that particular song that I went home and that week I taught myself how to play it. From there, things began to snowball, and before she knew it, she was prepping herself for a career in entertainment. To this day, Langford remains a hardcore Lady Gaga fan. I don't have Twitter, but Lady Gaga tweeted at me, like reposted an interview where I was fangirling and wrote Catherine with a love heart, and I kind of <laughs> freaked out a little bit. <laughs> Number one, she auditioned for Hannah Baker over Skype. Unless you live in Los Angeles, auditioning for big time Hollywood roles can cause quite the dilemma. Take Catherine Langford. She knew she wanted to audition for the role of Hannah Baker on 13 Reasons Why, but was inconvenienced by the fact that she lived over 9,000 miles away. What is a girl to do? She turned to technology, of course. The resourceful actress did her audition over Skype. Hannah wasn't a character that I could just kind of pick up and, and, and take off from. I think the further we got into it, the more of her stuck with me. And uh... The unconventional tryout must have gone well, as Langford got the part even though she'd never read the book that the show is based on. 
Hey, when you've got it, you've got it. And Langford's got it. And I think the ones that overall enjoy, the ones that are personal, where people just may not necessarily even want a photo, but just come up to you and are like, hey, I watched the show, it meant a lot to me, thank you. And that, those are my favorite kind of interactions. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.